Welcome back to the channel guys, Pat of Card Skill Dreams. So first off I just want to thank everyone for the support on the last video, comments, likes, thumbs ups, views, I really appreciate all that stuff uh, <clears throat> and the support. Uh, so today I'm going to attempt to um, put the photo etch spokes into the steering wheel. Um, so just for reference here, I have two of these kits. So. This is what the stock steering wheel looks like. Um, it's upside down, but. So this is what the stock steering wheel looks like. Uh, so I've already cut the kit spokes, cut the spokes out of the kit steering wheel. Uh, so that's ready to go, needs paint. I uh, got the column shift, column, uh, yeah, column ready to go, steering column. And I've cut off the uh, turn signal and the tilt uh, mechanisms. Um, I've also got the spokes, the photo wet spokes here, and then the centerpiece. Um, so your horn knob or whatever. And then I also made out of aluminum tubing. This is um, supposed to represent the the in the um the horn function but the housing so this is where your knob your horn knob will sit on top of this so i mean you don't have to you can just put this cap straight onto the photo etch piece and it's fine but i i wanted to try this like i've done i've done um a photo at steering wheel before um, but I just attached this to the center uh, so I'm just trying something a little different to make it a little more realistic and so I'm gonna try and put this piece in the middle if it'll fit if it doesn't fit that's fine I won't use it but if it fits I'll use it so anyways um, so yeah I'm gonna get this stuff painted up uh, it's all going to be black uh, to go with the black interior. So I'll get this painted out, painted up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I'm going to cut the uh, parts off of the photo etch tree. Um, I've got a piece of tape here. Just taped it to the back side. So when I cut this off, um, it's not going to go flying on me. Uh, <clears throat> definitely a good trick for holding these parts down. As we know, they're tiny and easy to lose. Just cutting the tabs off. They come off pretty easy. You don't need a whole lot of force to get them off. And then you just need to sand them smooth. This one I'm not using tape because it's a fairly big piece. And you want to cut it close to the part so you got less to sand. So that come off pretty easy. Okay, so we got our spokes. And our centerpiece. Just pull that off. And there you go. So I need to, so if you can see the colors that I've, I've already painted that up. It's got red on this outside, blue on this side. The Chevy symbol is blue and then black around the, the symbol. So I'm going to put some UV resin over top of that. 
So I'll just uh, get my little. I'm going to change this camera angle because this is too close. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't change. I can't zoom out when I go, when I'm in the uh, telephoto lens. Uh, this is as far as it'll zoom out. So I'll just pause this and then come back. Okay, so just sanding off these little tabs doesn't take much. So it's smooth. It's not much of a tab there because I made sure to Cut it super close to the part, the tab, I mean. So this is just a 600 pad. I know there are bending tools. I have a tool, but I like to use my, my small pliers. I just find it's easier for me. And you can see the lines on there. So that's where you bend. This bottom tab is almost nothing there. All right, so I'm going to put the horn button onto this little piece here. So this is just tape wrapped around and then this is upside down so it's sticky. Put that on there. Move this out of the way. It's going like that reflection. Drop some UV res resin on it. So that's just settling in on there. Just manipulate. I think I might have put too much on. So we'll just try and take some away. Lifting and grabbing. And wiping it off. Okay, we're just about where we want it to be. I don't know if you can see that that great. Okay, and then I'm going to stick this under the UV light for a couple of minutes. And it'll be nice and hard. I'll be right back. Okay, we got our UV resin, it's all hardened up, looks really good. Um, so now I have the steering wheel and the steering column drying at the moment. So luckily I, I have this uh, extra steering wheel and I can kind of set this up, set the, uh, the photo at spokes up bend them up and get it ready for the wheel so I'm just using my needle nose to bend 
You want to get that right on that line. So that'll kind of be the the hard part is getting this the degree of these bends symmetrical getting them so obviously that wasn't that hard <laughs> but uh it sometimes it can be i've only done one of these before so it's not like i'm a i'm a pro at this but So I don't even know if this is going to be right. I'm just making some bends. Doesn't look like it's going to be correct, but So let's see how this lines up. Need my pliers. Needle nose. So it almost looks like it's almost going to line up, but not quite. <clears throat> So the, maybe a little more on this side. So I've never used the tool. So I don't know if that makes the, these um, angles any easier. Because all I've ever used is... is the pliers. So I'm basically just going eyeballing this. That looks pretty good. So to me that looks pretty good. So let's see how that fits.
So obviously this is going to fit. It would be like this. See how that's going to work. Okay, so that's that. Um, I've got my horn assembly thing drying right now. So I'm going to have to wait it's as far as I can go right now. Um, I just wanted to let that stuff dry a little bit longer. So here's the steering wheel. So this would be the back side. See how that lines up pretty good. I like it okay so we got all our parts ready to go I just want to make sure everything dries a little bit longer before I start handling it and then uh, we'll be back okay so we're back we got the uh, steering wheel assembled um, so once you get all the parts ready to go, it's just like assembling any intricate parts. Um, didn't have really any trouble assembling it. Uh, just use CA glue. Um, so one thing I would, I or I had to do to the back before I put the photo etch spokes on. It was right where it meets onto the steering wheel. I just cut this to make it flat. So it had a good flat surface to mate to. So I did that on both sides. Just flattened it off so it had a good spot to, uh, like I said, to mate to. Um, and then I made uh <clears throat> the tilt and the and the signal light out of uh just wire and so you cut the wire first you take off this piece the sh um the plastic then you cut it here then it leaves the little tiny piece of um, plastic there and then you just put some black paint on the tip to hide the wire and there you go I'm pretty happy with the results looks really good wasn't all that difficult uh, see it, it's a, it seems daunting uh, because the parts are pretty tiny um, but yeah, no, it, go, it, it went together really easy, so. Um, and then I got that, you can see the horn assembly on there. So I think that turned out really good. Using the, uh, aluminum tubing. Real, real thin piece that was really hard to get that cut. <laughs> that was probably the hardest thing about this whole steering wheel was uh getting this horn assembly thing done and of course not messing up this actual steering wheel when you're cutting here and here just just being really careful and uh making sure you're not uh messing up anything so there you have it had a lot of fun doing this appreciate you checking it out and this is going to look really good 
in the so I've already started on my dash as well I gotta add a bunch of parts to it yet I'll just give you a little preview of what that, that's gonna look like so I got my decals and stuff in there I still need to do a lot of detailing here but looking good really really like how that turned out so again, thanks for checking it out, and uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Pat out, model on. Thank you. Thank you very much.